I want to warn every Kenyan politician to stop their careless, childish, foolish approach to politics of referring to other people as thieves and witches must end. It, why do I say that? That is the highest level of incitement. And if nobody speaks about it, and it continues, it will, make, it will eventually make communities gang and gather against one another. And therefore, as a church, and a man in church, I want to warn every Kenyan politician, it's a warning, it's a warning, that if they don't stop, they will suffer with their families. And the innocent children of God will be free. If you know where a thief is, arrest him. Take him to court. If you know where a wizard, a witch is, take him to the church. He will be delivered. They must stop this carelessness, foolishness, and childish mentality of referring to other people as thieves and the witches. If they have no idea, let them not sell to us propaganda. You have never seen, even if my sister is a prostitute, if we have a funeral at home and I am the one to introduce the family and what they do, I come to my sister. I will not say, this is my sister Alice and she's a prostitute in Kissy Town. Your sister is your sister. Your brother is your brother, no matter what he does. So if you call my brother a thief, and the day you speak that in my presence, I will communicate to you in a manner I know how. If you call my brother a witch, and my brother fails, I will say you are the one who bewitched him. So if they don't stop this, they are creating unnecessary animosity. And the politicians are dividing this country in the name of uniting it. People are saying we want to bring all Kenya together except William Ruto. We want Kenya Kwanzaa except Musei Wakitanawili. That is nonsense and you must stop.